Biao Vieja, un coin de Pologne connu de par le monde pour abriter la dernière forêt primaire d'Europe. Cette forêt est le dernier vestige de la forêt de plaine qui s'est étendue sur tout le continent depuis la fin de la dernière glaciation. Ces forêts magnifiques, dans lesquelles on peut encore observer l'ensemble des processus naturels à l'œuvre, abritent une incroyable diversité d'animaux et de plantes. L'épicéa, indigène dans ces régions, forme dans les zones les plus humides et froides de vastes forêts à tendance boréale. We are not talking simply about a forest. We are talking about the Białowieża forest, about the best preserved piece of forest on European lowland. La forêt de Białowieża est aussi la forêt la plus étudiée d'Europe. Le village accueille de nombreux instituts et des scientifiques qui trouvent ici un lieu idéal pour leurs recherches en écologie. Every country would be proud having the such such forest. Most of such forest in Europe were simply cut in the past. This forest was preserved for at least last last 400 years. It was managed for for last 100 years, you know, but still nearly 60% of the, of the tree stands, they are natural, they were never planted by humans and they are still shaped by the natural processes. This is World Heritage Site. Mais cette forêt exceptionnelle est aujourd'hui menacée. Depuis quelques mois, la forêt de Biovieja est le théâtre d'un conflit entre écologistes et administration. En effet, le nouveau gouvernement polonais a adopté un plan qui autorise une forte augmentation des coupes de bois. Selon les écologistes, ce plan, s'il devait être appliqué, aurait un impact significatif sur les parties les plus anciennes et donc aussi les plus intéressantes de la forêt. So this is a coalition of the of the foresters, uh, local some local businessmen and of course politicians. Du côté du gouvernement et de l'administration, on avance comme argument la nécessité de lutter contre la vague d'expansion du scolite de l'épicéa, un petit insecte qui provoque la mort de ces arbres. We have still time to, to slow down this uh, dieback of, of spruce trees. And this, this is uh, the reason of the logging. En permettant d'enlever les arbres déjà attaqués, le plan serait donc destiné à sauver la forêt. Mais les écologistes et les scientifiques soulignent à l'inverse la nécessité de laisser faire la nature et de conserver à tout prix les processus naturels dans cette forêt sauvage. If we need to do something about bark beetle, no, because it's natural process. It's going here for thousands of years. As long as spruce here, the bark beetle is here. Only one thing what the state forestry could do, but they they are not very happy about this. It's just um, like destroy all these channels what they did here since 30s to dry the forest because if it's less water then the the spruce is less resistant for bark, bark beetle but the cutting is not the way of fighting bark beetle the fight the cutting is just a way of extracting the wood foresters long time ago they forget about making money on that forest i don't know why it is why it's repeated you know in in many media that we we want to make money in the forest. No, it's it's completely oh. different goals. En filigrane de ces considérations écologiques, n'y aurait-il pas en réalité l'expression d'autres types d'arguments? One, it's you know very ideological thing of Polish right wing government, what they you know um, what is becoming from this old biblical thing you know that the humans are should uh, be governor of the nature and of the earth 
and they cannot allow that the forest will manage itself, it means nature will manage itself. Of course, there are large areas of the Białowieża forest which are natural forests, yes, who are not uh, changed heavily by people. Of pe man was present here for centuries, so, so you cannot say that it didn't affect the ecosystem at all. This debate whether the Oviso forest is man-made or, or very natural uh, was heated up by the Minister of Environment who said that Look guys, we know how to uh, protect our forest because actually Białowieża forest is a man-made forest, which is, which, is, which is not true. The ministry is also, also finding the scientists which support his ideas, his policy in, in, in relation to this, to this forest. So we have the uh, impression that there is a conflict, that, the, the, that the, there is also conflict between the, the scientists in, in approach to this. To, to this forest, which is not true because probably 95% of the scientists are supporting the idea of the, of the protection of this forest. Uh, I, I'm not saying that the visual forest is virgin or pristine or something like that. We don't know. It's natural in 10, 50% or 70%. But it's the best what we have. The problem is that we m might lose the, the last natural uh, areas in the Białowieża forest. Sur la carte qui transcrit le plan du gouvernement, les zones assurées en rouge et situées en dehors des périmètres de protection correspondent à ces forêts les plus anciennes. Elles pourraient à présent être exploitées à peu près comme n'importe quelle autre forêt commerciale en Pologne. And the other thing, what is you know, like very important, is like strong economical interest of Polish state forestry, which is holding the 25% of Poland was covered with forest. It's earning on this almost exclusively, doesn't giving much to the budget. So it means using public for public property for own interest. And then foresters are telling to the Polish society, we need to do this because we need to cut the forest. We need to. Uh, earn this money because we need to maintain the forest, we need to take care about all this 25%. Mm -hmm. And in Białowieża forest, the people see that the forest doesn't need to be care, doesn't need any protection, that the forest is managing itself. One of the meetings, a few meetings, they said, if we will, if we will uh, fail or if we will leave the, the Białowieża forest, uh, or if we lose the Białowieża forest, we have to lose uh, a lot of other forests. I consider it as a fight for power and not, not uh, the well-being of the, of the nature here. Une série de lois récentes tend à élargir les pouvoirs de l'administration forestière à toutes les matières environnementales. Au final, il semble que le gouvernement veut écarter les ONG et toutes les autres institutions du débat. Les forestiers pourraient ainsi faire main basse sur la plupart des dossiers de conservation de la nature. Une politique qui souligne, ici aussi, la difficile cohabitation entre scientifiques et administrations dans ce genre de dossier. When we talk about uh, uh, nature conservation, the, uh, uh, definitely it's a priority for the scientists who, uh, who, who are studying and researching the conservation of nature, the biologists. Uh, and when we're talking about the forestry, then definitely they have the institutions, they have the best professors, scientists, but they are focusing mainly on the areas that are um, part of this uh, uh, managed forest. So, so this is uh, their priority definitely is not a nature conservation because uh, of the nature of, of, of the institution they represent. Les écologistes plaident pour sauvegarder coûte que coûte les forêts anciennes et les processus naturels qui font le caractère sauvage unique de cette forêt. Pour eux, il faut donc limiter l'impact de l'homme au maximum.
And the future of this forest is not the exploitation. It can bring some money, but limited amount. The future of this, of this forest is the many tourist development. So because this brings a lot of income for the local people, because tourists which are coming here, they rent a bed and breakfast, they, they rent a guide, they go to restaurants, uh, they use the horse carriages, bikes renting and, and so on and so on. Where the trees are cut and sold, all the money goes to the state forestry. La forêt de Biovieja est aujourd'hui partiellement protégée par le parc national sur une partie seulement de son étendue. Pour sortir de ces conflits qui ont tendance à se répéter au gré des changements politiques, une solution revient sans cesse. We would like uh, this conflict uh, stopped. Uh, so we believe that uh, enlarged uh, park would be the best solution for years. People in Poland are very, very against this. One of the good effects of this, of this story is that the people from Poland and from abroad are coming here and they see this forest and they see this forest perfectly managed. It's not dead like the state forestry is telling. La mobilisation internationale est un des moyens de pression essentiels pour sauver la forêt de Biovieja. They, they didn't start to do these plans what they approve. No. Mm -hmm. So it's like this that it looks like they are very afraid of the soft power of the people. They are very afraid of UNESCO, they are very afraid of European Commission. <laughs> This forest is visited by people from, from Europe and from the whole world, and this is World Heritage Site. So this is international responsibility to, uh, to protect this, this forest. So we cannot say that this is only related to the local foresters or local community. This is international issue. Uh, and uh, I hope that EU and the UNESCO will stay involved in the in the debate and the and, and general the conservation of the Georgia forest. <laughs>